shall I use? Maybe I should do a little bit of gemstones. Hmm. We will see. A little foil. So I'll have to go through them. Hello everyone, it's me. So I'm going to try my hand at a design. Uh, it's kind of been floating around in my head. I'm going to base coat these. And I uh, already have my nails done. I did oh, probably about five days ago. Just some tips with dip powder. That's all it is, just clear dip powder. I know it's kind of a cloudy dip powder, but I don't really care. <laughs> while that's being done and I'll talk to you in a bit. Okay, taking a break, drinking my coffee out of my morning pumpkin cup. <laughs> so right now I am going to, I've done, I went ahead and kind of lightly buff these, put a base coat on them and now I paint them with this color. This is by Model One. Um, I got this off Amazon because I, I don't know if they even sell this on theirs, but I saw it on there and it's such a deep burgundy. I hope you can see it. So, let's go ahead and I'll do a couple coats. I'm in a couple of nails, and then I will stop the video so I can uh, do them again. I am doing these nails because I am going to update my um, my little profile pic of. I think the blue nails are, you know, hey, it's time to retire that picture. I think. <laughs> so, I thought I'd do something dark, and since it's coming close to the holiday, um, I meant, I'm not, I'm not a big Halloween, uh, person, so, I mean, it's not that I object to people having Halloween, but it's just, um, uh, Oh, I love getting the candy, but I was never, even as a child, was never into dressing up too much, and, you know, um, maybe it stems back from my mom didn't like, well, she didn't want to have to make the costumes, because back then, you had to make everything, and sometimes we would just end up wearing wigs, old wigs that our sisters or mother had, and and just, I don't know, dressing that way instead of all these cartoon characters and things like that. I mean, if there was costumes back, <laughs> you gotta realize this was back in the 60s. So I'm a baby boomer. I'm an old lady. So... So, that's what it will look like, and um, I really like it. I think it'll come out even darker with a second coat. So, I'm going to cure this, and, oh, 
there's this little bump thing. I have no idea what it is. And it drives me crazy when I go to slide something in my lamp. It kind of almost causes me to hit the roof or hit the top of the where the lights are. So anyway, while that's curing, I'll be back and I'll finish my coffee. Okay, I got the second coat on and got it cured. So, what I'm thinking about doing is matte top coating them. And then, I, I'm going to try. I am not good at anything. I might put some stones on that one, the, the, the middle finger. And then, I oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to touch it. It's sticky. So, I thought on the ring finger one, I would do, um, try to do a smile line. And then try, try to use this stuff. And I will probably get, oh, if I can hold it, get somewhere like right here where the red is in this part. I mean, this is the only one I saw that, wait, I think I do have some more in there, is it? Yeah, maybe I better look again, but I, I mean, as far as I know, I will be using this part, or that part. <laughs> and so I'm going to uh, matte top coat them. Let me set that over there. And I've got my little gemstones out here. I, I'm one of those people who buy their little gemstones. And I hate to use them. I so hate to. <laughs> I'm like a hoarder with the, this stuff. It's like, I buy it and I want to use it. And then I'm like, Ugh. But the last time I tried, it became a total disaster. The stones... Before I could get them lined up and in the lamp, they had slid, and it, it was just a mess. And I'm like, okay, so <laughs> I'm going to try it again. So I am going to use like a clear builder gel, and I'm going to use a liner brush and just make, I'm just going to do like a straight line down it. That's, that's all I'm going to do. And I don't know if I'll be doing that on camera because I will need to concentrate. So let's get into it. I was going to do that one partially pink, but maybe I changed my mind. I mean, I'll just leave with that. Since I went ahead and accidentally painted them. Mm -hmm. So let's matte top coat them. And I'm just going to use like sticky tabs and put them over time because I'm not taking my nails off just for photos and then they will be popped off. Just those little tiny sticky tab things. Okay. I do like it shiny. Hmm. Maybe I should do a couple nails. Let's do the them and the pinky matte and then I'll cure them and I'll see if I change my mind but I just uh, I mean I did a practice one the other day just seeing what it would look like matte and I really liked it so <laughs> oh, I almost turned them over on their tops, of course. Now, let me tighten that back up because I am a number one klutz. So, while that's curing, I will be right back. Okay, so, yeah, actually I kind of like it matted, that color. I meant with that shimmer, that light shimmer in it, metallic, like metallic, 
it gives it almost a uh, a satin look. Don't you think so? I really like it. I really like it. And look at them turn the wrong way. <laughs> I probably got some of them forwards and backwards. That's okay. There. Yes. I like it. We're going to go with the full matted look. All right. So I will go ahead and I keep trying to knock things over. Get back. Get back there. There you go. Woo! Okay. Now. I will go ahead and give these a nice little coat of matte. And, uh, yeah. That way, when I go to put my little line for my rhinestones, it will be easy to see the shiny, wet builder gel, right? Oops. Let's see. Let me make sure. Oh. Missed a spot over here on that one. Sometimes it's hard when you're doing the nails to make sure you get this. I notice when I paint my nails and then after a while I look down, I was like, ah, how'd you forget that? Uh, there. Okay. Yeah, I think that is just about empty. I think I have another one. And I will cure that. And while that's curing, I will be back. Okay, I've got my few stones picked out. And I've got my little picker. And if that one doesn't work, I have this wax pencil. Um, hopefully it will work. So instead of using the builder gel that would make a shiny line thought I would try using Madame Glam's matte top coat that I just put on these. So, um, let me grab this. And we're going to get some of this clear matte on there. Now I'm going to try this if I start feeling a little too shaky. And that way, when I go to okay, I hope this works. Actually, that don't look too bad with it. I might do that. Put a top coat and a little shiny streak down some of them. We'll see. I hope I've got enough there. I was trying to. Go down through there a few times to make sure I put enough. Now. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm like shaking. So, if I start getting a little bit too nervous, let's see. Here's that bigger one. There. There's one. And why do they always have to be flipped over? Hmm. I know what I need. I need my glasses on. That would help so much. I always wonder why I struggle and I never put them on. <laughs> oh, there. That's better. Come on. Flip over. There we go. 
<laughs> I was so nervous. Ah! <laughs> Did you see what happened? There. Did you see that? Now where'd it go? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, here it is. <sighs> oh my goodness. Do you see why I don't do gemstones? Because... Ah. I'm going to end up with that one on the floor, aren't I? <laughs> Come on! Flip over! There. Yeah. Oh, I don't have any of that stick it or tack, real tacky. Oh, I know what I should eat. Well, I didn't want to. Hmm. There. <laughs> I used my finger. There. There. Now. Oh. Me and these gemstones. You know what? Let me try this wax pencil. Mm -hmm. Flip over. Before I end up dumping all of these on the floor. <gasps> That is, this is cool. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I don't know how you ladies do this. I'm telling you. I'm uh, usually quite a patient person. And no, I don't have any of those little tiny micro beads. Like those little gold or silver or anything. Get up there. Get up there. This will probably look like a hot mess. Moment. I hope I'm staying in view, please. Let me stay in view. Um, I should use this kind of get them ah i told you i am not good at this no way jose <laughs> sorry no offense by saying that but <laughs> i am just not good at this at all I know I probably just don't practice enough, but I just really don't have the patience to to do this. I wish I had some pretty like uh, teardrop shape or something like that to put there. I don't. I don't really buy a lot of gemstones. Uh, should I go on down? Might as well have. Them. I can use some more of these. There. I don't think I'm going to try to put one at the end because I'm afraid that it just won't stay. Oh, God, I hope that looks all right. I'm sorry, ladies. I am not a... I'm just not good at this. Let's get them up there. Sorry if I'm out of shot, but... I need to really see what in the world I'm doing.
I'm trying to get them pushed together. <gasps> oh, is that still crooked? One thing about it with, with this brush with that stuff on there. God, see they keep moving on me. Oh, that's why I need that stick it. I just don't do enough um, this kind of work to really invest in it. Although I'm sure they sell in small jars. So let's hurry up and get that in there. Oh my God, that just woo. That just tried my patience. Woohoo! <laughs> It probably will look awful. Okay, well, that's caring. I'm going to go walk through the house and get myself back together for the next nail. Okay, everyone, I'm back. So, I went ahead and put another one. So, I've got two larger stones and one, two, three, four, five small ones i'm sorry i don't know the size that i use and uh, i took a thing with just a little bit of acetone and i was just kind of rubbing the tops of the stones off i i saw one youtuber do that and uh, but i was just lightly like i actually kind of folding it in half and just rubbing the tip top because I could tell I had a little bit of the gel on it and so um yeah so that's that now <laughs> all right so that's all I'm doing to the middle nail now on the ring finger I will try to make a slight smile line and do um uh let's see i need to use foil gel foil foil gel mm, this is model one's foil gel so one of these i've used out of and the other one i haven't I don't think I'm, that one feels just a tad lighter, but I don't think I've used enough out of them to, oh, what's this? Oh, okay, this is Model 1's um, dehydrator and primer. Okay. All right. Now... Uh, I think <laughs> I need to clean off my little brush here. And I will rub off this. Rub that off. Lay my little pad there. Okay, let me set these rhinestones over here. I'll put them in that tray lid. So, uh, okay, now, let's see. I think this is a curable kind. Now, this is where I always mess up. Me and, um, Foil gel do not get along. And, you know, it could be this brand. I don't know. But I'm not able to buy tons of them to uh, actually find out. So, here we go. Okay, I'm going to go. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's see. Let me kind of measure it. Just Okay. I'm telling you folks, I'm not good with this stuff. And this will probably end up looking like 
Who knows what? I know I'm probably staying out of shot and everybody's saying, that's not how you do a... I know. I, actually, I've never tried a smile line before. Okay. I hope that's all right. Oh, let me put my glasses on. Huh? <laughs> I'm sorry, I've tried. I'm afraid if I keep going, I will totally mess up. So, let's put just a little bit of foil glue here. I hope that mine is. Oh, gosh. Okay. Now, let's cure that for, I think it's supposed to be 60 seconds, because you want it nice and tacky. And my luck, it will turn out like black. <laughs> let's see. Hmm. I wonder if that would work. We will keep that to the side just to see. I'm going to get that little brush out. short that is oh my god I, I don't know where that brush come from huh must have been in some of my arts and crafts upstairs because I did find some small brushes up there and my big tote of arts and crafts I was looking through it thinking you never use this stuff won't you just give it to somebody who likes to do arts and crafts I do but I like doing arts and crafts with people. I hate doing things like all by yourself and you're like, I don't know. It's just the way I am. Oh, is that done? Did it kick off? Did I put, I can't remember. Oh, it was still on when I pulled it out. So I'm not sure if it already been 60 seconds or not. Well, while it's still going, I'm going to pause and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, I've got this one. Oh, I know. I think my smile line's just a tad bit sideways and wonky, but... Yeah. <laughs> so, here we go. Uh, actually, I think I want this little end, I do believe. All right, now, I am going to try this, people. I am totally not good at anything like this. That is for sure. Oh my god, it's not even coming off at all. Hmm. Was I supposed to rub this? I hope this is what this is. Foil, uh, isn't it? Foil? I do believe. Hmm. 
And we'll try this again. If not, I don't know what to do. <laughs> well, I got some of it. Maybe I just should do that because that's what I should have done. Shouldn't I have? Well, that just didn't turn out at all. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am so terrible when it comes to decorating nails. Hmm. <laughs> Kind of make that shiny and this matte, but not really sure. Oh, I kind of messed up my my matte part here. <laughs> That's funny, these don't really look that long, but when I get them on my nail, they look like they're that long <laughs> to me. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, while well, this is curing. I will pause and uh, see how bad it is. Okay, here I am back. So I'm going to take Model 1's top coat. And, oh, if I don't. Got that glossy. So I will cure that. And then I am going to try to go around the smile line with a little bit of, it's called rose gold. I've got it here on my brush. We're going to try because I am, like I said, I'm just, I don't have uh, the dexterity for that stuff anymore because I am just so shaky. This is called um, what's this called? Uh, 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 oh, it's just called Rose Gold. Okay. This is Rose Gold by Model 1. It's an old one, so I, I kind of doubt they have it anymore. I'm not sure I've worked quite a bit, and I think this is the only one I have, I think. <laughs> so, oh, okay, there we go. Oh, wow. Well.
I'm sure they make them, but it would be nice to have like something to lay and hold on top of there so you can kind of Rush feels. Oh, Debbie, you just took it from not being a smile line. <laughs> nope, that didn't work out at all. Oh my. Well, that just. That's about as good as it's going to get with me. Like I said, <laughs> it doesn't even look like a smile line now. Sorry, guys. I am not good at this at all. That is for sure. Not good at it at all. My, um,. Little bristles here feel on the uh, hard side. It feels a little better after I kind of rubbed them off. And stuck it in acetone. No, no. That's a no-no. But I didn't know what else to do. So. Mm. It's kind of crazy. But. Let me cure that. And I'll be back. Okay, everyone. I've got this set done. So, I went back with the Model 1's red. And that is 1140. As you see, that is the number of this color that I used. Um, uh, it doesn't really have a name, just a number. So I did get that off Amazon. It was in the Model Ones uh, polishes. So this is my set. I'm going to do these. I don't... I think I buffed them a little bit. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to finish these. Probably tomorrow I will um, put them on. Pre like, press on. Just, just with those little sticky tabs just long enough. I'm only using them to take a photo. Uh, and uh, actually I might do a little video on me doing like you know these that come in press on nails for just having them on for a few hours and you get home you know pop 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 and little sticky things that's what I'm going to be using I love using those when I'm just doing um, like photos for um Instagram or anything. I know I've kind of been off and had a rough time there, but actually after I went back and kind of cleaned it up, my smile line isn't so bad. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this and, uh, I'm going to take a little break and then I'm going to come back and do these. And, uh, it'll probably be easier because I won't be recording or anything. So, I'll talk to you all again soon. Remember, be thoughtful, be kind. Let me get them glasses off. Ooh, making everything that's not up close blurry. <laughs> be, oh, well, that just went off. Be thoughtful, be kind, and I'll talk. Let me grab that.
It didn't have nothing on it. I was like, oh no. <laughs> okay, here we go again. Take three. Be thoughtful, be kind, and remember, we're all going through something. So, until the next time, bye. <laughs> Morning, pumpkin. Here I am doing my nail photo shoot. I've got them on with those little sticky tabs, and they keep trying to fall off a couple of them. I'm trying to keep them on just long enough to do this. And uh, usually I don't save the nails after I do these. I just usually toss them. <laughs> but I'm kind of thinking I might keep these. I'm not sure. I wish I'd have kept my blue ones that I did my other. Well, yes, this one right here keeps popping up. Because, as you know, those little sticky tabs are not that good. So, I've took several pictures and I am like so torn between what one I should do. Actually, I think this hand looks about. And these rhinestones, they have that like... Um, uh, a Roy Borealis and the colors are not showing up in the camera like they are here I meant when I go like this with my finger I see blue and yellow and green and I don't I mean I can't tell it on the phone maybe it is showing up well I'm gonna get off here talk to you all again soon Bye. Okay, everyone. I thought I'd get a little clip. This is me doing my photo shoots or trying. <laughs> um, trying to figure out poses. Uh, there's the nails on. See, they're just. I have still have my other nails. So, yeah. So, I've been trying to get as many photos as possible. So, I thought I would just, um, yeah, do a, a quick little clip. To add, like my turquoise looking bow, I found this somewhere. I don't know where, but it, it's like painted to look like turquoise, and I just love it. It feels like it's like a little marble bow or something like that. Not sure, but I love it. I thought, what better great contrast to these dark burgundy nails and this blue turquoise designed bow. It's so cool how they got all those little lines. Well, I'm going to get back off here. Talk to you all again on another video. Have a blessed day, and remember, be thoughtful, be kind. We're all going through something. Here it is again. Electric off. <sighs>